I don't. I don't remember my first um, Playboy magazine that I saw, but I remember, you know, this uh, the first time I, I the, my earliest memory of Playboy is that I, I went to a very conservative school, and um, they had an assembly about pornography. So they had a, a speaker come in and talk about porn, and he said that he and his friend used to have a bucket that they would put Playboys in, and then go out to the park and bury it, and then every day after school they'd like run out to the park and dig up their bucket and then look at like, you know, the naked ladies and then like bury it again. And I just remember thinking that was a very elaborate and kind of stupid way to, uh, to do that. I was like, there's a better ways to hide a, a magazine than that. Sort of, I mean, I sat, through, I sat through a lot of abstinence assemblies growing up. I grew up in a very conservative environment and those assemblies pretty much seem to go the way that they go in the movie. I think a lot of times there people just use scare tactics to try and uh, get kids to not have sex for whatever reason. And, I think it's a pretty ridiculous and unhealthy way to, to try and teach someone a lesson, but I think that's what happens a lot today. Um, uh, I didn't realize how, how gay he was. Um, that was, uh, no. <laughs> uh, no, he was cool. <laughs> he, was, um, he was awesome. He was um, really, like, a really, like, sweet, like, old guy, and he, um, you know, he spent the whole night before, um, you know, going over his lines and, like, you know, really, like, working on the lines. And um, so he like, you know, came down and like knew his part and it was awesome. Like, you know, he doesn't need to do this movie and he didn't need to like help us out like that. So um, it was really cool that he did that. I love the Playboy Mansion. I didn't get to go with these fellas because they went to shoot Hef. Uh, we invited you. I did not. Um, but I enjoyed, I went to a Halloween party there and it was everything you, Expect it to be and more. Were there naked girls running around? Kind of talking. And uh, yeah, there were naked girls walking around and uh, people playing around in the grotto. It was, it was awesome. They say that they're going to invite us to, like, you know, they're like, oh, yeah, we're going to have the Midsummer Night's, you know, dream party. You guys should totally, like, come by, but they, they won't invite us. You know, like, that's, it was, I, it was very nice of them to humor us, though, like that. I peed on the seat and I think they noticed and that they pulled our card. Oh, yeah. that was embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the orange, yes. Um, you know, I think we just were in wardrobe trying stuff on, and uh, the, these guys saw it and was like, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, so, um, and, I, and I also had, was like, yeah, I was feeling that. Because uh, this character is very, you know, he's, he's outlandish, and he, mm -hmm. you know, he wants to, the attention, whatever attention he could draw away from his deep, dark secret, he will get. Your hair was your idea, though. Oh, the right? hair was the hair was my idea. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they went along with it. In the gas station? Yeah. Yes, I did. <laughs> so talk about that scene and how many takes did you have to go through? Well, the scene, you know, we there's a scene where my my I'm filling up a car wearing a hospital gown and a gust of wind blows my robe away and I'm exposed. Um, <laughs> Front and back. Right? Front and back, yeah. You know, the weird thing is the the people, they told me the day before that I should shave because I have to wear a patch over myself, you know, to cover on set so I'm not actually flashing people. And uh, I think I just forgot to shave, and so the next day I showed up, and the way that they apply it is they just glue it right onto you. And uh, nobody, uh, I didn't have time to do anything about it then, so we just glued it right on and... and uh, it was one of the more painful experiences of my, of my life, removing that thing. So, so that scene comes at a grave price for me. My dignity was, was, was cut in half, and, and it was excruciatingly painful. And, yeah. The price of your ball hair. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't have... I had an awkward scene where um, I had to... Uh, there's a, a blood scene that um, I had to be... Uh, I had the actress harnessed to me, and basically her head was uh, right down near my business area. And um, I had to be kind of harnessed there for a, 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 good, a good long time. So that was very awkward. I, you know, I just kept apologizing, like, like, sorry, sorry, sorry you wrote this, sorry, you know. <laughs> Did she ever, like, fall off the harness? I mean, no, it's, you're locked in there pretty good, because, you know, I have to do a lot of, like, moving around, and she's, like, you know, stuck to me. So <laughs> it, was, uh, it was awkward. She was cool about it, though. Good sport. Um, well, not on the set, but in the movie, at the end of the movie, um, I just hope that people don't go away thinking that 
that I'm really built like that character that you see. Why is that? Because he has no penis. Craig has a penis. You can confirm that. Yeah, I have a camera phone picture. I can either confirm or deny it, but I'm pretty sure I do. <laughs> Did you guys even have senior proms when you were in high school? Yes. Yeah. So what do you remember from them? I broke up with a girl in senior prom, and she broke her leg that day, and then we had the after party at her house, and her dad kicked everyone out, and she was crying, and I dumped her. <laughs> I think I tried to re rekindle an old flame at my senior prom while I was with my current flame. It wasn't nice. I, I went to prom with a girl that I used to date and was no longer dating at the time of prom, so... It was just weird. No. No, I, we're in, I'm in touch with uh, 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 new high school girlfriends now. <laughs> MySpace is awesome. What's weird is you, you can be in touch. They got these high school mm -hmm. and college reunion sites, you know, mm -hmm. so you can, like, look up people you went to high school with that, you know, you probably shouldn't. I think that's, gonna, I think that's like if you go back into the past and alter something, and then it alters the whole future, you know? Butterfly effect. Yeah, I think you're not supposed to, like, reunite right. with people from high school. You're just not supposed to. And then they got these websites that you're doing it. It's going to hurt something. Yeah. That's a sick movie, too. Butterfly effect. Yeah. Ashton. Yeah. Didn't see it. Back to get us right. He's like the biggest star on you the planet. Down. We were wondering people if you could get us into the Playboy Mansion. What's that? Hey, you. And, uh... It's funny, people ask you for things, like, you know, to introduce you to people and stuff like that, when they realize you're just doing a job, you know? Um, I don't know. You know, we've done some screenings, and, like, that, uh, after the screenings, there's always, like, some people who come up and are like, lock it up, like, after that, but I don't know. I hope the, 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 the hand smack and then the, you know, neck grab becomes big. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, you know, we might be doing another season of the show, and then we're working on a... Uh, the IFC show. The IFC show, the whitest kids you know. And then we're going to hopefully get a uh, Whitest Kids You Know movie coming out there pretty soon. We're, we're almost done with the script, and we're going to take it out pretty soon. I'll be appearing in Night at the Museum Part 2, as well as a movie called The Goods. And I'm starting work on a new movie called Hot Tub Time Machine, as well as continuing on The Office. Thank you, sir. All right, thanks, guys. Oh, yeah? Pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank thanks. you.